I would love to be saved by the bell. But th this bell didn't do it for us. The auditorium. That's Latin. This implies you had Latin. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's that's nitpicky stuff. Time to assemble. Why are you? Good luck with that. Catch me up on whatever I miss. About the yearbook dance or whatever. I would have preferred it if he if he read that line as yearbook dance, but whatever. I have literally tried to warn people. Oh, this. Is a <laughs> okay, now if you're very intelligent, you may have noticed that the settings have decided to also eat my goddamn background opacity because this is made by a bunch of clowns. You're not coming? <laughs> no. I gotta do some invoicing and some L&L planning. Wanna ditch... I've been wondering about what the invoicing means. And I think it probably has to do with his... Like, what does he invoice? Because he runs deliveries, right? But does a delivery person do invoices? I'm not saying this because I'm like, oh, the, the, they don't do it. I'm saying that it's like, I don't know how deliveries work. And if the... I guess they might. Like, maybe he has to take the invoices with him. Like, he has to fill them in. But as a delivery person, wouldn't he be... Like, wouldn't Reed be given the instructions? Like, shouldn't someone else give him the invoice? That makes way more sense to me. Uh, I think this version of Fang comes from, like, the Middle East. I think the uh, developers are Lebanese or something, so it's implied to be from that direction. The only reason I know that Fatma works out the way that it does Fatma, Fatima, is because people from that region do happen to hang out a little bit uh, over here, the Middle Eastern cultures. In the Netherlands. Uh, large Turkish and Moroccan people background around here, so. Shows up! With me. Well, Trish isn't there, so. Look, there's Braille! Look, there's, there's, look at the sign! There's Braille under the auditorium! I told you! Where they didn't do it for the music room? Anyway, this is a fun segment, so we gotta be fast. Let's go! Scoot, 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 a loot! We don't have time, buddies. Read it while you can. You can rewind, we got full video playback. I like how that guy's just tatted up to the nines. I like Des. Des is pretty cute! D is adorable. They are always hustling. Serena's got the gossip. Abby is so cool. I like Abby! Oh. Such character. Abby's got that sass. And we got Claire the Swamp Girl. We already saw her a little bit ago. We got uh, KT. Catastrophe. Oh. And yeah, flying dinosaurs are a thing. Mark's fun. Can we see them from here? I think they're somewhere like in the middle, right? Oh, look at all those cute little exits. Oh, there's a button we can push. We can press B to exit. There they are. Are you gonna go in? This character, uh, Fang never learns the name of, and it gets brought up several times in like the little in 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 the name in the name card gag. <laughs> but they're titled as Smoker Dino in the billings for the credits. Mm -hmm. We gotta go sit. Um, I think this option, by the way, is for Nasser. If you want to get Nasser points, we gotta go sit with him. We gotta be nice about this. Yes, I have to. Rosa's getting involved. We gotta get involved. Everyone always takes this option, Hi. though. I saved you a spot. Excellent seating choice, right? Not so close to the front that we have to like make awkward eye contact. I worked at a movie theater. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the green one in between the two of them. Ah, oh, look at that. Bless That's a cute summer. design. Ah. Oh. So I'm kind of an expert I like that on one. optimal seating. Is that a joke? <laughs> Yeah, good choice. I like the designs they went for. They're also adorable. Movie. Oh, we got a plate skirt. We got a plate skirt in the background. Hawk, yeah. Theater. Overalls, oh my God, wait. I heard you got an audition for the showcase. <gasps> That's huge. Oh, yeah, we're gonna be amazing. No big deal. Stoner Dino is pretty good, though. Oh, hey, did I tell you what Mango stole this morning? Not one, but three socks from my lawn. Look at that green one, though. I like it so much. Do you think she's trying to build a nest? 
I mean, I know... There's a guy with an angler vest behind uh, Trisha's head. You can barely make it out, but he's got, like, hooks on it. <laughs> it's cute. Sometimes they build dens, but usually only in mating season. Oh, my God. Baby mangoes? Ah! Yes, please. I want... If this was... If this was Snoop Game, we would get a joke about that. We would get a... My eardrums joke. Five. A dozen. Ah! Wow. Ha. Yep. <laughs> You're so hey, awkward. It's starting. We should have had the scene earlier, though. I feel like establishing that Fang is socially awkward in this blatant fashion should have been a little early. Although I have mentioned before that, like, there's a merit to being a little subtle. And then hinting at it once, tri twice, trice, and then pfft, just smacking you with it. But mm. The principal. <laughs> oh, the principal. It's one of the adult characters in the, sh in the game. Look at him. Good morning. We have a... Okay, pay attention. Due to the way they handle the lines in this, every single thing that echoes gets cut off. Pay attention. A quick announcement, and then we'll hear from our class president. Truly an inspiration to us all. It's worse when LJ does her thing, but... Yes, and hi, I'm Naomi. And I'm here to remind you that the Yearbook Club is still looking for members. I know I want to remember this year forever. So you can join and be part of making our memories last a life. Look at that cute girl in the overalls with the sweater. That is so cozy, but also way too hot for an environment that's in the tropics. She is suffering for the aesthetic. Ah, oh, also cozy sweaters. Cute. Good design. And speaking of your book, don't forget, senior pictures are coming up. Um, uh, so some good tips for taking good photos can be found on the Yearbook Club website at... Okay, well, uh, okay, thanks! <laughs> what happened? Like, I've seen this scene a bunch of times. I, uh, there's not enough animation to convey what just happened. Like, I feel there should have been an explanation. There's no narrative descriptions or anything, or thought bubbles or anything, so what happened? I don't think anyone ever tells. The microphone just acts up, which, fair enough, there is electromagnetic interference, but... Uh, I don't know, it just feels a little rough. Like, the, the the phone thing and the bell thing are very opaquely issues. This feels more like she's bumping the mic, but she's not moving. So I don't know what it is. It makes me confused and distracts me. It's probably just me, though. She seems fearless. I not never talk she like that. She seems fearless. Oh, that was a thought bubble. Why are we suddenly doing those? We're all feeling a little... Off right now? I know I am. You hear that cut? Oh, that's a cut. But I also know I'm not alone. And I know you aren't either. Why are you looking like that? Feels like that? Come find me. Seriously. Oh, that's connecting. Cuts. It's working. Rosa is kind of nice. Rosa is nice. Really nice. Be nice. What's her deal? I don't really get a fake vibe, but... In conclusion, maybe the rock will hit us, and maybe probably it won't, but either way, we will still have each other. Kind of. Okay, and that's my perfectly crafted plug for the big dance. So, end of the year, mark your calendars, prep your moves. That's it for me. You've been great, Volcano High. Please don't post any videos of this, like, anywhere ever. Thanks. He did okay. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> <sighs> Woo. I got photographed. Okay. Oh, look, Nasser's... Oh, Nasser. <laughs> we got an impact. Impact, impact, impact. He's a goofball with stage presence. Not to be weird, but that speech was, like, amazing. Um, not weird. Do you have eyes? Nasser can get it. But you were mm. listening. It's a speech you listen. Don't see it. <laughs> That's my husband you're talking about. But, okay, so a lot of people... So here's the thing, right? It's obvious that Stella is, like, talking about uh, Nasser's husband. No one really drags too much attention to it, lending credence to the idea that Nasser is, you know, a little bit of a gay man. And, or, you know, Stella's more like, he's younger than me and it's awkward at this point. I don't know, but it feels like something, something's going on there, you know. Hey, uh, hey, hey guys. 
I forgot to mention it at assembly, but the Young Engineers Club has some openings for new members. Yeah, like I said, Fang feels ridiculously tall a lot of the time. Oh yeah? What kind of thing do you- It gets worse for some reason. When it's up close, it's fine, but when the camera zooms out a lot of the time, Fang feels taller for some reason. I don't know what it is. Hmm. I think because proper group shots really emphasize it. Also, would like to point out that Naomi is approaching this group, and this is so oh, awkward. Oh. Well, on Thursday, we'll be dissecting a frog. Also, the auditorium was full, and there's one door open. Like, are we either waiting around too long, or what? Like, what's the context for the rest of the crowd? A uh, robotic frog. Oh, sick. Look at Stella. Stella is just zoned out in this conversation. Yeah, and it'll look good on college applications, so the more the merrier. Wait, I thought you were going to be a physician, though. Uh, Sweat drop. I, I mean, I, I am. <laughs> Engineering is basically just surgery for machines. Why is everyone so judgmental? <laughs> totally. Anyway. That is so awkward. I hate it. it oh, secondhand cringe getting. Ooh. Um. Just kiss already. Okay. Everyone at once. Bye. <laughs> so, what's the deal with Miss Robot Frog and Nasser? Are they a thing, or... Naomi? Nah. Oh my god, you're obsessed with him! You know what you should do? You should do a tarot reading about it. Who says I haven't? What did it say? Drew the lovers. I drew the lovers yesterday, your deck is haunted. There's no big deal. Oh, I love that card! What a weird transition, huh? It's like, I love that card, and then we're just out. You want to know how you can do this a bit better? Is you have like a half-recorded line that fades out, so that it's like, oh, now they're talking about nothing, and then we zoom on on this. It's a little smoother than jump cut. It's a fucking locker jump scare. I'm jump scared by someone standing at lockers. Oh, hey. Locker pals. How does that happen? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we finally met. Trish talks about you, like, all the time. Ha! <laughs> Does she really? Oh, yeah. Every song that came on Shuffle, she would have a whole story about a concert you two went to, or a riff you did. We've been into music for a long time. It feels like we're bound by it. But, you know, like... This feels like something that would have been useful a little earlier, before Fang started, before uh, Trish had objections to the song. Like, he introduced this a little earlier, so that you're like, oh, like... Obviously, music is the thing that ties the two together, so Fang is probably worried that if the music stops, then Trish will stop. You know, that kind of stuff. In, in a good way. I get it. And now Battle of the Bands? You're really killing it. Well, I don't know about that, but we're doing our best. I don't know. I work with LJ. Trust me. I know how picky she could be. It's implied she later gets a job at the Lava Java, but when did she work with, with LJ before? Because she was at a movie theater, right? And LJ doesn't own a movie theater, right? Getting that audition is a big deal. Yeah. You know, I really hope that Trish and Reed know that. Honestly, it seems like Trish is... They've been... She's been back for two days! This would work so much better if it was, like, next week! It's been two days! I know that Trish slides out of every conversation. Like, this is not an unestablished fact. Like, it's been established that Trish just slides out of everything. But two days is a little early to be like, oh, they're so busy. Like, maybe Trish just left a lot of stitches un unstitched when they left for the camp. I don't know. She's so busy since we got back. Judgy Jacobs? Well, I think Trish is figuring things out. She knows how important this is. She's just a bit scattered. A little anxious. We talk about it sometimes. Sorry. What for? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Perfect time to introduce a thought cloud that is Fang just going, oh, so you do talk with Trish about this, and Trish doesn't talk about it with me? So Trish, no, no. It should be like, Trish talks to you about this, and not with me? Like, yeah, simple thing. But I guess the, the emotions are supposed to communicate it. But again, it feels a little... Mm. No worries. If you're gonna do thought bubbles in the auditorium, like, why isn't that just Fang riffing with the others? Like, why isn't Fang just talking to everyone? Because there's people sitting next to them, that's a perfect conversation partner. It makes... I mean, there's also, like, standing behind, you have to basically have the same conversation, but... Mm. Don't square holes and round pegs. <laughs> oh, hey, I gotta go. I'll be sending good vibes at the audition. I'm on shift. I'll see you there. It's weird that apparently she works during that. Locker buddies? 
Just smooch already! Yeah, it actually makes sense if Rosa's a mom, but that would involve adding an adult character, and we can't have those. We got Adana! Damn, Adana! Every day I come in here, and it's all, guys, the Kringle cosplayers are war criminal. Or, Cr the Krungle band feather intern, brand feather intern, was accused of vehicular manslaughter three years ago. What are you thinking about ever? <laughs> yeah, there's no braille. Look at... <laughs> look at Reed sitting behind the... Why does he look like a little boy? <laughs> Why does Reed look like a little man <laughs> sitting behind his drums? Why is he facing his back to them also? Oh. I mean, so everything is going to be, like, flattened, right? Squish, stuck to the bottom of a rock, like we're just gum or something. I mean, wherever it makes impact, yeah. Don't ever say impact, we just heard him say it a thousand times. If it makes impact. Right, right. So then everything else will just explode into dust? Fun fact, what actually happens is way worse. When an asteroid hits with that amount of speed, that amount of energy, you get atomized, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! Um, the process is hilarious in just how incredibly extreme it is. But uh, you should look it out. It's fun. Good stuff. If you're at the, at the side of impact, it's hilarious. It's just something else. You're going you're gonna to learn how physics works. You get pretty dang close to figuring out what spaghettification feels like. Also, considering it travels like kilometers per second, and it travels faster than the speed of sound, you won't even notice it's impacting. You'll just see this little dot of light, and then, <sighs> gone. Like all those cars in the parking lot. The one that Fang tried to kick their way into and shake it for a joyride. And all the straw wrappers and sunglasses and little air fresher things inside the cars. <laughs> Did you just write a poem? Shut up. You know what? I for Smelmer. Selmer. Selmer writes good poems. You know what? That's almost a good poem. I think if you workshop it a bit, you can make it work. But it's not an intentional poem, so whatever. That's a Selmer poem classic. You really aren't thinking about it? The big kaboom? Definitely thinking about it. But also, there's really nothing we can do about it, right? We've gotta just control what we can until we know more. Zen. I guess. Which is why we are gonna absolutely nail this audition. That's like the one thing we can control right now. Speaking of minds. To say what we want and, and who we are and have people actually listen. Which, by the way, can I point out that while well, Fang's transition business is treated with a lot of gravitas, Reed is fucking gay, and it is given nothing. I have some issues with that. Like, let me let me let me take a drink and, and get get back on this because I think this is important, and I think it shows the shifting windows. Right now. So, the idea of Scary Dave with smaller rocks is surface area is actually really useful. Like, yeah, it'll still unleash a huge amount of energy. I don't know if it actually helps. I have no idea how that actually works. Because, like, the, the, the energy can't just go away, right? Oh, man, now, now I'm fucked up. Thanks. Um, but I want to talk about uh, Reed is gay. So, Fang gets, I'm transitioning and my parents aren't taking it seriously, my name... They are deadnaming me, etc. And it gets all this emphasis. Reed likes and is dating a guy to the point that he takes him to prom and no one gives a flying fuck. In real life right now, trans people are kind of under the, the, the crosshairs of everyone. And some gay people are turning Republican and are voting against those rights. Fuck you got mine. And my problem with this is very simple. What? <laughs> are, are Reed's parents okay with this? Like... In in my thing, I actually wrote that like Reed has two moms. Because I, I like to imagine that in the and High World, there are two types of families. The ones that adopt, and the ones that just have kids, and they're, they're biological. I, I kind of go with the idea that like the world is so utopian compared to ours, that depopulation is a massive issue. Because there are no other countries that have massive child booms. Like, it's literally what we live in right now. Like, there's a population decline going on. So the government sponsors a lot of chil children, which is why most people we see in this game are well off. Because every single parent gets a lot of money for having kids. Because no one gets fucking kids. Because why would you have a fucking kid where you can live your life? And from that perspective, uh, Reed's parents, they adopted. 
they, they, they had kids and they threw them under the bus. And, and Reed was like, you know, my, me and my brother were both adopted. We're from different families, but, you know, we live it up together. And I like the idea of just having someone with two moms, you know, look cute, look, look cute, look gay couple. And it also would explain whether why, by him being gay never comes up because his parents don't give a shit. Alvin's parents might, but Reed's parents are like, yeah, this is who we are, buddy. <laughs> but if not, like, admitting all that, shouldn't Reed's sexuality, which is, again, non-standard, have more impact? Like, if... The... Wouldn't Fang's parents have something to say about this? Like, stay away from my son? <laughs> Don't touch Nasser! Only baby couples! It's a, it's, a, it's a thing, you know? You could do something with it. Instead of having me, just like Nasser, a token character that doesn't get any attention. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably overthinking this. Don't worry. And doing it on our terms. With our songs and our hard work. Like, sure, this meteor might kill us all, but wouldn't it actually feel worse to blow our shot? I don't want to talk about blowing shots. <laughs> I don't want to live shots fired like that. And if LJ hates our stuff, that's exactly what's going to happen. So we just got to do Baby it. Baby face. Practice. Well, yeah, but that's not what I meant. Play our songs good? <laughs> yes, our songs. She wants something new, remember? But we can't do that before the audition, so we have to just rework an old song. Oof. The back catalog. Okay, here are our options. First up, everyone's favorite, Puke Factory. My mother is a robot. Beep, boop. Oh my god, these titles. And last but not least... Ugh, it bent Jimmy Two-Face. I kind of like these these little these little uh these little bits. They're actually pretty good. They're pretty cute. I also want to point out LJ. I don't think ever comments on the fact that they're reusing old sound bits. In my rewrite, I'm pointing that out. But like, shouldn't LJ, who's been listening to their sound for a while, who is judging them on their merits, be a bit more like, "Are you trying to pull a fast one on me?" Because I know what you're doing. I don't know. It just feels like something LJ would be a little cynical about, and then be like, "Ah, but you know what? You tried really hard and you made it work." So I'm good with it. I don't know. It just feels like something that a professional like LJ should be ham hamming on, or at least point out at the minimum. And I don't think she does. Maybe I missed that part. Who knows? Like I said, well, full holes. Well, what do we think? What's your favorite? Get Ben. Also, it would establish LJ as extremely competent. It would really be like, oh, she, the reason she's the talent scout is because, like, Fang's trying to pull a fast one. But, like, no, 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 no. She's better than that. Jimmy Two-Face. That song gives me all the feels. In a good way now, though. My mother is a robot. Beep. Boop. Great. No consensus. They point this out in Snoot Games. You can't do democracy with three people. I guess we can go with... I say Puke Factory. Let's go for the Universal Classic. I mean, yeah. And all this, let's actually give, uh, let's give Trish a little bit of something back. It bent Jimmy Two-Face. Yeah, that guy still sucks. So, it needs a new name. What else? Different key, new hooks. So wait, we have to redo the whole song in like a few days? Dude, no way we can do that. I, I, I don't like that Trisha's freckles are so downplayed. They're a cute little detail, but they're a little subtle. But we have to. And I also have to go to school and babysit and study and not fail my classes. Me too. Not babysitting, but you know, my job. Yeah, this is like an extreme makeover. I don't know if we can pull it off. Maybe we just don't? No, okay, um, just let me think. I will figure this out. I have my MIDI controller, and, and I can make it so your part isn't that different. Ooh, MIDI magic. Sick. I'll make it work, I pr Reed is the perfect person, the perfect person to say the line, oh, cast your spell, oh, ye mighty wizard. Reed should say something like that. Because he's an LNL fan, he should say something stupid like that. Ah, like, give him that, uh, just perfect, you wasted it. You wasted him saying, cast your spell wizard with midi match. Uh, also, Trish is floating closer. The two of them are going to crash into each other, baby. I promise. Trust me. Just give me my little part, and I'll be there. Okay, okay. Cool. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. Why are you even a band if you're doing all this work and they do nothing? Just saying it feels a little weird. Controller. 
Wasn't this on a, on like her on like the desk in the last few scenes? I don't know, but I think it was like on the table. Eddie controller. I'm just making things up in my brain. Oh, we get one of the few good great animations in this one though. Look at all those band posts, that's just nice. Are you cleaning? I feel faint. My door is I'm there. Just looking for something. Oh, I thought this was all a highly specialized management system. Or that's what I've heard you scream at mom for years anyway. It is. So, big audition coming up. How are you feeling about it? Good. Totally fine. Why? No, nothing. Just asking. I used to get really nervous before every debate tournament, you know? But Naomi taught me this great meditation. I can teach it to you sometime. I'm good, thanks. I'm kind of busy working on songs, actually. Would you ever be a solo act? What? No, no way. Worm Drama is a band. Interesting. That must be weird, though, right? Like, sharing something like that with other people. I mean, everyone thinks you're some mysterious rebel, but you actually have a really tight crew. You have friends, too. He's in a debate team! You got friends, dude. You have friends? Naomi? She's here a lot. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. I don't know. The band is special. I just think it's cool that you have that. I'm gonna go shoot hoops with my sports band. Did his wing chain... I don't even know. That's a cute animation, though! We can go straight for the MIDI controller. But there's a lot of stuff here. I'll read these someday. Probably. A boot! A boot? Generic black sock number 41. How I've missed you. These should probably go in the wash. Ugh, I should probably empty this out sometime. These are probably still good, right? Probably. Something, something mightier than the sword. Can I point out this one scene? This scene is actually alright! This is actually a really good execution of the core idea. You know, it's a it's a little shake up. We got a little we got a little shake up. We got some internal monologue. We got some character reflections. So this little scene. I was wondering where this sock went. Why do you have white I socks? The dryer ate it. I would unfold this to see what it is, but it's probably better off in the trash. Oh God, this thing probably has mold no one's ever even heard of. I do like how the cursor moves. It's got a certain jam and jive to it. Ah, my lucky pick. I better remember this for the audition. I have no idea what this is. Oh, old logo sketches. Is it just me or does Fang sound a bit more childish in this? I don't know, something about the, the way the voice is done feels a bit younger than normally. Maybe it's just... Mm. Like, that, that'd be a cute detail, right? Like, here's something you can do that you can't normally do, is you can have it so that Fang's internal monologue is reflective of how Fang wants to sound. Like, Fang in their head sounds differently than Fang outside. And you can do that with the voice actor. And it's cute and fun. And it's interesting. And it would do something. And, like, Fang thinks a little different. Like, Fang outward is this cool guy, you know, a little reserved and everything, but internally there's this rich world that comes to the forefront. Just like with Anon. He's trying not to get noticed, but you go inside of his head, and suddenly he's thinking about how to tell a bunch of people from Afghanistan how to break their, their clay bricks. <laughs> he's gonna yell at them, and, and make them, and collect those U's. Someone told me what that means. I feel so excited. Yes! It gets a cute moment, it works, it's fantastic. I love it. You did it. What what are the numbers looking like? I haven't I can't I can barely see my stream. Oh, there's only three people. People aren't as excited today. Or maybe it's because it's not Friday, Friday, everybody comes home Friday. Oh well. Ah, we get a song out of nowhere? No, I got 